Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, I'm making this one because, you know, it seems like not everyone quite understands how booleans work, so I'm going to teach you how to do that today. So, one example of a boolean lock is the keybind activator. So, you configure it by using the configure block, the keybind, and just choosing any key, really. I'll use P here because that's the one I like using the most. Um, now, you'll notice that if you go into the logic tool, it doesn't have a green node, right? Well, so booleans, these guys are cool, so they have their own so they have their own node type and connect those and stuff to the in to the input nodes on stuff like an AND block. So yeah. So now you may be asking, what is a Boolean, Lyra? Well, a Boolean is think of it like a light switch. It's either on or off, on, or off. So we can use that, well, yeah, to enable stuff. Now, not everyone knows how to get numbers out of it. Because, you know, sometimes you need to like, for example, with a motor, you just, you know, you it doesn't have a boolean, so you need something for that, but you want to use a keybind activator activator, a keybind activator or something, right? So, in order to get a number out of it, you, you would, um, you'd place down a numerical switch box. Alright, I'm back. You'd make a new, you place down a numerical switch box and you just hook in any data, really. Right here, I'm going to hook in some constant numbers, but you can feed in any data, really. Um, but, so, I'll just make it 1 for this one and 0 for the other. And, now this is one of my favorite box, the numerical display. It's just fantastic for debugging, you know? So, yeah, I'll feed in the keybind activator into the numerical switch box and the numerical switch box into the display. I'm, of course, going to save because, you know, don't want to lose all of your progress before you activate. And then I'll go ahead and activate. So, did I set this? Yep, there we go. So, I'll go ahead and press this right up against the mic, so that you can hopefully hear it. Okay, you can't. But, so I'm pressing P, and it enables and disables it, as you can see. Now, we can obviously set the input data to any number, really. Just, really, any number. We can have it be 93995, that one and five 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 four five five zero oh, eight three five 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 nine four zero oh, eight three zero eight. For example, this an insane number. Obviously, it got rounded down, but whatever. Um, because that's the max number. But so now you'll see. If it, yeah, so now you'll see when I activate and press P, it instead shows those numbers. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it taught you how to make booleans and stuff. I'll see you guys next time.